excitement, Gotham City Chronicles. What's inside the box? In this video, we'll show you what the components are like, what is included. Some close-up shots of the components coming up. Hi, Stella from Ipul University, bringing you a variety of quality board game videos. We're going to show you what's inside this kickstarted game, Batman Gotham City Chronicles, designed by Frederick Henri and published by Monolith. Let's get to the table with me and Tarrant. Okay, here we are for our unboxing and component review Correct. for the new Monolith Board Games Kickstarter release, Batman Gotham City Chronicles. I love Batman. And this is a chance to play the characters that I love or the villain that I love. Yes, and they're all here. So yep. we've, um, we've got the game here in two boxes. Yep. Um, one continuous piece of art across the two boxes, which is very nice. Very pretty. Heroes over here. Villains over there. Villains over here. Yes, so uh, where do we start? Where do we start? Uh, let's start with the hero box. Okay. The shrink off, so now you can uh, see the art without the... There's a little glare off the shrink there, but now you can see the art here. Very nice. Very, very nice. Alright, yeah. let's see what's in it. I can't wait to see what's in it. Ta-da! Ta-da! So we've got... Wow! What is this? We have a nice uh, piece of art on top here. You can hang it on your wall. Yeah. Batman in full flight there against one of his enemies. Then we have... Like some of his enemies, enemies actually. Okay, so we've got two booklets with the game. We've mm -hmm. got the rule book. Mm -hmm. There it is, in 60 pages. And we've got the uh, missions, wow. roughly the same here. So the game comes with all these Amazing. missions, yep. one every two pages. So that looks like... Five, three, five, three. 25-ish missions. So oh, this is a, a big rule book. We've got some, got some nice art here. Yep. All the different villains up in the corners there. So there we have the missions book. Okay, what do we have here? This is a box. Box in a box. And we have it's some got... miniatures. Wow. So this is actually, it actually says in the box. It says where they go, which yeah. for for someone like me who could spend half the playing time putting away, uh, trying to figure out which slots to put the minis yep. in, that's very handy indeed. So, that's really good. Wow. So we've got some blue miniatures and we've got some orange ones. So there are different coloured miniatures in this game for the, the heroes, the villains and the neutrals. Yep. A couple of stacks of miniatures here. Well, Ooh. is it actually by? Is it the the actual slot by? Because, say, bet, um, I bet think it how? is. I think this is the top, the top line. Because we right. got okay. those four yep. drones. I could see them Cat there. Catwoman. Oh yeah, yeah. This is Catwoman. Got it. This is amazing. What do you think of the miniatures? Mm. Got a cow with a cape. <laughs> a cow with a cape. <laughs> it's called. Bat cow. <laughs> cow. I don't remember that one. Bat cow. Wow. Here we have Batman in full flight. Mm -hmm. He's got his cape. His cape is spinning. Full action mm -hmm. there. Is this that is, also Batman? This is also Batman. He's brooding. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, I've lost it already. Okay. Wow. This will take a while to paint. This is also Batman. So always look at it's always good um, as Terence say to look at the reference. Yeah. Which one's Batman or what goes yeah. well away? So there's the Dark Knight Returns version of Batman. Yep. There's normal Batman. There is Zero Year Batman. Mm -hmm. A couple of different Robins. Year one hundred. This is amazing. Okay, yeah, so what's under I think there's just two layers here. I think it would be two layers. Yeah. Oops, there we go. Two layers. Yep. And a nice box to keep them in. Now, we have this layer. And we have to remember how to put this back as well. <laughs> so there's the, the, some dice here. I assume for battles and, and such. Yeah, battles and uh, actions and all the various things that you can roll for in the game. Yep. 
Uh, oh, you got it? Yep, got it. Got some nice little cards here um, showing some equipment. Yep. Batarangs. Grappling hook. What is that for? To try to sneak mask. into somebody at somewhere. Flaming sword, piece of rifle, and so on. So, looks like to be the equipment card. Yes. And some red cubes some over red here. Cubes. So, those are, I think they're called energy cubes in the game. They are essentially action point markers. Yep. So, key element of the game there. All right, let's see. Oh, double layered board. Yep, so these are, each of the scenarios I believe plays between one and three heroes. Yep. And this will be the hero's board, it will yep. hold the hero character, will hold all the energy cubes and yep. yeah, lovely production value with the double mm. layer boards. This is amazing. Always makes yeah. it very straightforward to play. So there's three of those yep. coming with the game. Yep, I'm going to have a look closer. Alright, so this resembles Batman's computer system of some sort and it's little icons in there I really love double layer boards yep. so there are three of them that's very good yes and then these which look suspiciously like they fit into these uh, slots here these mm -hmm. will be the hero oh. cards let's take this out so there, there's bat cow on the back yay bat I want to cow. play with bat let's get bat cow in there <laughs> That's so amazing. That lines up very nicely yep. indeed. It's got all the different statistics going to these eight little pockets on the side. Yep. Um, let's look through some of those yep. characters. Batman. This Batman. reminds me a little bit of the other game, uh, Claustrophobia 1643, Monolith's yes. other game. So this Monolith game. It, I think it, it feels, it has similar quality, uh, product finished, and it has got this double layer board where you Claustrophobia, you can open and close, you can slot your hero or villain or monster, uh, Inverno, sorry, Inverno card into yeah. it. This is really great. So this is all the characters and you just match up with all the minis. That's so good. Yeah. This shape is very good. You'll, um, you, know, you can pull it and because it tapers in, it's going to yep. stay there. So it should be fairly resilient. How this have we got nice the... finish. And we got the back as well. Ooh. Just a bit of information about this particular character. How Bat Cow came to be. In two languages. Yep. Yes, I hadn't. Um, this is great. Yes, there we go. So we've got yep. English and French. Yep. Uh, Monolith being a French company, I believe. We had that in Claustrophobia as well. It was yep. bilingual. Yep. Very so, good. Yes, Bat Cow. Is a cow or une vache? Excellent. This is handy. All right, so that's those. Okay. We will say we're not. Um, we're not minis painters. We're not. Yep. Um, we don't have a lot of experience with minis. As gamers, I do really like that these minis are uh, color coded. Having oh, the yes. heroes in oh, blue, yes. having the villains in, I believe, it's white. We'll see them in the other box. Yep, soon. Um, yep. As you know, from a gameplay perspective, if mm -hmm. you're not painting the minis up, yeah, and that's always. A good I mean, help. realistically, <clears throat> how many people paint their minis? Or maybe there are, but. Can you paint your minis right away? Would you, you know, how long do you spend? I've got some friends who paint and these things like for one, it, it really depends, um, I believe, on the um, the detail. Like some mini is easier and some minis are harder and one could take easy a few hours. Uh, I don't know. It might take a while, this one, to, to be painted the whole lot. So being color-coded, that was the point. Being color-coded co uh, color is, is really handy, it's really useful. Yeah. All right. If you're going to paint over the top of it, that's not going to, not going to make a difference, but that's yeah. good. And there's 166 like minis in all. Um, mm -hmm. Got some more there, yeah. yeah. And then underneath all of this, I believe we have the two game boards. One, this, this is big. Let's take that and then put the box away. Oh, wow. Okay, so they are two-sided. Yep, so there's um, different scenarios. We'll use different sides of the board. Yep. Um, this is great detail. This is almost realistic. Yep, it's got Which a nice finish. It's got yeah. a sort of finish and it's big enough. It's yep. got, you know, you'll have multiple minis and multiple tokens most likely in so this is good it's got all the different spaces they're very yep. clearly delineated mm -hmm. uh, there are some of them that are delineated in different colors yeah 
and there are some specific rules in the game relating yeah. to uh, line of sight depending on what colour of line is connecting it, like we've got the orange ones between doors. Yep. Okay, so we've got oh, a slightly more domestic setting here, yep. we've got a big fast truck. Yeah. Um, vantage point up here. Mm -hmm. I like the detail on this one. I like it too. This this looks so real, but I, I, and also like the lines that just indicates perhaps different area and so on. So let's have a look at another board. Yeah, this is the industrial board. We've Ooh. got barrels. We've got real acid. Mm. The goggles do nothing. <laughs> uh, we've got. This has got nice filling as well. It's nicely set up here. Yep. So. Um, like that, offices, Let's things have like a look that. And there's a lot of three dimensionality in a lot of these yep. as well. There's vantage points where you can look down. Yeah. Um, and then this one we've got, ooh, a bank vault over there. Oh, it's we've lots got of money cash. pouring out of it. So, yeah. I like it. So now we go to the box with the villains on the front. So we should be seeing some enemy minis in here uh, and a lot more of the tokens in this one. So there were no punch yep. boards in that first box. This is a two man job. So we start Amazing. here, we've got a plastic, uh, very detailed, I believe this is the control board. Yep. I believe this, don't quote me on this one, I believe this is the, yes it is, it's got the river there. So this is the other way up. This is yep. the board that the uh, villains player will use to keep track of things. Wow. So it's got a few tracks here to track energy. Mm -hmm. It's got the uh, the river spaces here. You'll yep. see these are numbered and this is where the the player's cards are going to go. This to feels come out of play. This feels sturdy. It's not like plasticky or anything like that. It's quite sturdy and it's quite thick and nice. Mm -hmm. You know? Yep. It's it's not just a tray. It's a, it's a proper one. It's it's quite thick. And hard. Yeah, it's, it's not nice. easily bendable. Wow, amazing. Okay, we'll get back to the rest of the thing in the box. There's some punch boards there, I believe. Uh, this is amazing. And there's the reference as well. I really like this reference. Like, how many times have you seen Minnie's box without reference? Like, pretty much all of them. Almost all of them that we've, we've seen anyway. And. Yeah. Um, okay, oh, wow. so we've got a grey. And our grey minis here. Great, it's like mm. plant trees eating and, trees and henchmen. Yep. It's so realistic. This is like bat wings and so thin. So we've got some big enemies, larger yep. ba oh, larger bases on these enemies than yep. the than the good guys. Yep. Yeah, careful. some very fragile looking bat wings there. Yep. That's, good. that's yep. like um that's like the claustrophobia as well. Oh, this is instruction how to attach and glue the someone shooting together. A, someone shooting a net yeah this would be it looks like the riddler he's got his uh that's amazing question mark k in there yep so there we've got a safe with a little uh little combination on the front and someone's left a notepad on top so <laughs> some some nice little bits of detail there oh that's amazing got a generic control panel yep and some little uh some little, oh, a little computer and some little boxes, so some nice features there. It feels like it's a little bit different though, there's some with more details, like this one. I can feel that it's probably a bit hard to paint rather than some of the little ones, the, you know, the common guys, but that's quite normal, you know. Yeah, we've got a mix of henchmen and some specific characters, yep. so that's good. 166 minis in all in this. We've got all our punch boards down the bottom here. This box is pretty cool as well. It's very thematic. Yep. Just flip that around. So we've yep. got the contents here on the back. Yep. Uh, so yeah, this is the one that's got all our punch boards in it. We've got punch boards representing all the different characters. Yep. So here we've got the white ones are the enemies. We've yep. got the owls. We've got our guards here. So yep. these are the ones that will go into the slots on here. That's amazing. To signify what's going on. Ah, uh, okay, so that's controlling the villains. Yep, so those are like going to so. slide through. I see. Uh, we've got and various scenario specific tokens. Ooh, all of these connect into that board. That's really cool. Yeah. So these will go in here. I mean, the, um, the tile seems, it's, it's thick enough. Well, not too thick, not too thin. Definitely enough thickness. And... Yeah, it looks like That's it's enough. two two millimeter, I think. 
Yep. Don't know my card stock very well, but I think that's about two mil. And there's little bitters as well. Yep, so we have Feels all quite the... Feels solid. So here we've got all the, um, you know, all the tokens you'll need for different scenarios. Yep. Frost and skulls and fire and yep. uh, scenario specific tokens. Some shackles here. Some bombs. So I think these bombs were upgraded with mm -hmm. the the minis that we saw before. Likewise with these computers. All these different character. It's colored nicely. Functions. We've got all little tokens down the side here as well, representing yep. them all. Mm -hmm. Little tokens. So that's basically. Those are the components. Yep. We hope that you enjoy the video. We'll put an overview of rules video, which we will put in the link description below when we have it. If you enjoyed this video, please let us know by hitting the like button. Write your questions or feedback in the comment sections below. And finally, if you'd like to be one of the first ones to be notified for our next videos, please click the meeple in the corner and hit the bell button to subscribe to us. Until next time!